My name is Alistair Lee, and in this video, I'm going to walk through a couple of the new features in Adobe Experience Manager 6.3 for correspondence management, including the ability to set up inline conditional text in your editor, as well as the ability to repeat data automatically, including the ability to repeat data based on a condition. So let's take a look at those now. I'm going to navigate to Forms. And in this case, my conditional text, as well as my repeating data, is inside of a document fragment. So I'll click on Document Fragments and go into a folder where I've got a document started here, a letter for our recipients that I need to finish. Now, the first thing I want to do is include my recipient name here. So I will scroll down the data list here and add my recipient name. But I'd like to include a title, Mr. or Ms., based on their gender. And here we can take a look at the new conditional text. If I highlight a specific piece of text in my editor, I can click on condition and set up a condition where that highlighted text should be visible. So in this case, we're going to take a look at the gender. And since we've got Ms. highlighted, I'm going to say if the gender is equal to F, we should use Ms. I'll click check to save that and then do the same thing by selecting the text that says Mr. Clicking on condition and adding our gender variable and saying if it's equal to M, we should include this text. So we've got two different conditions and our Mr. and Ms. text are highlighted with each of those conditions. Let's click save and make sure this works. I'm going to do that by navigating to Adobe Experience Manager Forms and Letters, where I've got a letter where we're already using this document fragment. So I'll select that letter and we'll preview this with some data. I'll select a data file first for John Jacobs, whose gender should be set to M. We'll preview this. And you can see here the letter addresses Mr. John Jacobs. Let's go ahead and close this and preview it again with a different data file. This time, I'll select the data file for Irene Adler, and we'll click Preview. And we can see that our conditional text is working. Our letter is addressed to Ms. Irene Adler. So let's close this and go back to our document fragment by clicking on Adobe Experience Manager, Document Fragments, and then our folder. Now that we've added our conditional text, the next thing I'd like to do is add a list of the stocks in our recipient's portfolio. To do that, I'm going to add the stock name, which is the name variable in our data list. And I'd like this to repeat for each of the stock symbols that our recipient has invested in. So to do that, first I'm going to make sure I include my bullet character in the text I want to repeat. Then I'll select my text, including the bullet, and then choose Repeat. Here I can add a condition. We'll take a look at that in just a second. But for now, I want to show all of the stocks in a specific portfolio. So I'm going to erase that condition. I can also specify any separator I'd like to use. If I want a comma in between each of these stocks, I can add a comma. If I'd like to use a line break, I'm able to do that. Let's go ahead and choose Line Break here, since we've added a bullet character and click on Save and save these changes. We'll once again go back to Adobe Experience Manager, Forms and Letters, and take a look at our letter with some data in. Let's preview this with data, choosing Irene Adler once again. And I can see now that we not only have our conditional text working, but we're listing out all of Irene's stocks in her portfolio. Let's combine these two new features and take a look at a repeating list that shows data based on a specific condition. So I will deselect my letter, go back to Adobe Experience Manager, Document Fragments. We'll navigate to our folder and edit the same document fragment we've been working on. Here we've got a threshold of $2. I want to display any of Irene's stocks or any of our recipients' stocks based on that threshold. So we're going to once again list out the stock. So I'm going to add my bullet character. We're going to show the name of the stock. And then maybe we'll add a colon, a space, and a dollar sign, and then the price of that stock. We want this to repeat. So I'm going to select all of my variables, including my colon, and dollar sign, and bullet, and choose repeat. 
But now we want to add a condition. We only want to display the stocks that are under $2. So here we will add the price as our variable. I'll insert that into my condition and I'll say if it's less than two. And once again, we'll set our separator in this case to a line break. So they show up on separate lines. I'll click the checkbox and save. We'll close this out and test it once again using our letter. Under forms, letters, I'll select my letter, choose preview with data. This time we'll select John Jacobs as our data file. And you can see here, we've got our conditional text working, dear Mr. John Jacobs. We're listing out, we're repeating all of the different stocks in John's portfolio, and we're highlighting stocks that are under a specific threshold based on conditional data. Those are some of the new features in Adobe Experience Manager 6.3 for correspondence management. Thanks for your time.